It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where London will play host to a different kind of football. It's the Jaguars and the Bills. Next, on Madden NFL 24. The second of our five international games this season, the Jags and Bills underway here in North London. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth-shattering, but it didn't need to be. Now a man in for an expanded role in 2023. It's James Cook. They'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four and second down. The numbers a week ago for Cook. 21 carries, 80 yards and a touchdown. He's hoping to have the same type of game, but he's going up against the number one defense in the league, and they're very good at fitting the run. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play here for Buffalo. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan today, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. And a good looking run there is going to take this inside the 20 and down the 18 yard line. And this game to the last one, and they moved the ball over 50 yards in two plays. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. To the air, Allen. The right side here caught by Kincaid. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Charles, we see some of the injuries that have popped up for this franchise, and obviously hoping to get these guys back on the field in a hurry. Brandon, I'm going to go ahead and age myself, but I'm going to ask you, when you were in high school and there were injuries, did you hear next man up from your coaches? Well, you hear it every week now in the NFL, that's for sure. You know. point attempt. And it's 7-0 Buffalo. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. After the touchdown, Bats to kick it away. Trevor Lawrence. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? The numbers for Johnson in last week's game, 20 carries, 100 yards on the nose, and a score. And their success running the ball in the previous game has to give them a lot of confidence, but they also understand going against a top five rush defense means you have to have a lot of offense in your game plan. Misdirection, counters, power game, maybe even some quarterback run to take the heat off of the running back. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Now Lawrence. That is caught, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play, won or lost a game. This seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. But you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. 
So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they also have spot in the field where you will take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? 23 yards, the final tally. Now they show jet sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Here's Lawrence. Complete to Washington. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 16. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. On first and 10, it's Lawrence. That's complete right around the eight. He's down inside the 10 to the eight. And it comes on a gain of eight. Ball on the eight, second and two.
After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bills with the football as we start quarter number two. Second and 11 now. As they've got it as we resume action. Now Allen. their second drive of the game but they've already thrown the interception given up the score you're down double digits they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here no doubt about it and when we look at that sideline i'm sure you're observing the same thing i am the body language and all the little thing is made of stem disbelief so to me we also have someone stepping up and making a big play i think it would be good that if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now they need something positive to happen and they need for them to happen So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Up the middle, Johnson treads him with a stiff arm. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. And he gets stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. Now Lawrence. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. And Lawrence going to smartly hit the deck here as he is able to pick up the first down in the process. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads him right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. McManus's point after is good. A drive that time of 
six plays. And it's Calvin Ridley who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. James Cook running back out now. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated. Because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Second down at four. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the ball for Diggs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Catch the first down from Stephon Diggs, one of the league's most consistently excellent receivers. Third straight season with over 100 catches and a near career best of 11 touchdowns as well. First down, here's the run with Cook. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. They run it again with Cook. 72 yards rushing for him now to this point. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Allen now looks to throw. Guy completes a corner of Shakir. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. They'll try the middle with Cook. trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, playing the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. That second down play, that's a minus four. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Lawrence will throw. Throw incomplete. Quick to Calvin Ridley.
returning to work now. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Allen still complete to Shakur. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Play action, Allen. And he can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. Josh Allen able to get him for a loss of about three. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far. second quarter he's already up over 100 yards receiving now it is a 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver so he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game on first down on allen and that'll be incomplete after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten Now Cook, he's got it off the draw. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Throwing his Allen on third. He had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That is certainly one way to press go the quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package. Lots of speed. No space to fit in the football. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard the line. Not too bad. The Jaguars ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on moment or two there, but they do get him down. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills got a terrific first half from the man on the cover. Quarterback Josh Allen. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out and continue to throw the ball effectively. Now Lawrence to throw on second down. A short throw there to Strange. Shedding a tackle. Gets him some room. And he'll be out of bounds. But able to get it up against the 45. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contacts, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now this is going to be a quarterback draw. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. And Oliver through the line and hitting him for the loss. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. On second down, 
Johnson. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Lawrence. Finds his tight end Ingram. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets over. Lawrence. They'll find him out over the middle. It's Washington. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And effective running here. They'll take it down inside the 10. It's a six-yard gain on the ground. That'll make it second and four. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. And he's got it. Touchdown, Jack Lawrence. Parker Washington from eight yards out. And the Jaguars have got it back to within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point from McManus is good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here are the Bills to take over. They've run two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and 10. They start the drive with Cook, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I'm getting a sense of the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. On second down, Cook. Four yards on the pick up there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still win the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Here's Johnson again on second down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards that time on the pickup for the Jags and a first down. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had three tight ends in on that set. And these guys are punching really well. I use boxing analogies a lot. A lot of coaches have told me that when you line up to run the football, it's 10 fist fights along the line of scrimmage, right? You've got to win your share. These three tight ends, they almost always win their fist fights. And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. And Lawrence going to smartly hit the deck here as he is able to pick up the first down of the process. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So first 
and 10 now from the 30. Now Lawrence. This one into the hands of Ingram downfield. Touchdown, Jaguars. Adam Ingram, 30 yards. And the Jags are an extra point away from evening this one up. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open. He has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from. But for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. don't they? They see the cuts happen, they see the blocks happen, they feel really good about their vision, and then they use their legs to find that open space. And he's had some good help up front to move. From the 38 now, here's a second and four. Allen running right on the option. Holding it, maybe the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Now Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Bulls first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. you got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. the middle it's caught and just one yard here from the 49 to the 50 and that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game so how has he done it because he's been patient follow this block let everything develop and then burst through for big gains another tote for the workhorse this afternoon it's caught call it a gain of five that time and they'll be left with a third and about four but really that was no surprise there they've been running it well all game and i know goals change all the time any team will take that type of run each and every time. Now Allen. And that is incomplete. But they're certainly being aggressive here. It's like being a, a sprinter in a 100-meter dash, exploding out of the blocks, trying to push the ball downfield. Guaranteed this defense better be on their toes. They're going to be tested all game. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. They can repeat that in terms of defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in London. The Jaguars on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They'll try and run for it. Here's Jackson. And this will be a Jaguars first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. Avoided 
his first interception of the contest. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. From the shotgun, Lawrence looking downfield for Jones.
comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. And they're getting all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. A great job there. And that old cliche taking what the defense gives you. Comes right in the play. Nothing too out of the ordinary about the throw. Just a little dump off over the middle. But what it is out of the ordinary is what he did with it after the catch. Not only did he grab the ball, but how about the significant yardage he picked up after he pulled it in. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Up the middle, Johnson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Gregory Russo is able to bring him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Looking to throw Lawrence. here for the Buffalo Bills and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game but when you throw one in the fourth quarter that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over right the way that you close the way that you finish that gets preached to you from the time you're playing little league football all the way up through and they closed them out with a big time performance down the stretch. So for Buffalo, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. and one. 
And now it's off to Heathrow as they get set to fly back to the U.S. in a couple hours. Meanwhile, for Jacksonville, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves.